we talked at Comic Con, but if you don't mind, we're going to ask him. Some so when yeah. when George first came up to you and said that he wanted to to reboot the Star Wars uh, storyline with the Clone Wars, um, as a producer, then how do you where do you go with that? Do you get a big dossier of things to work on, or do you kind of have to? Where, where do you go under the brief? Well, it, there's a lot to think about when you take on a franchise as wildly successful as Star Wars. Um, of course, the first thing I really need to do is get into his head and understand what he wanted, what the vision was. And I got just a bit at the beginning, and that was you need to create a look and feel that is unlike anything anyone has ever seen before. So with that piece of information, of course, key to success is finding the right creative team, which we spent a lot of time <clears throat> searching for unique visions and, uh, and people. And went after uh, a director that hadn't done traditional shows. I wanted somebody who looked at things differently, wasn't kind of stuck in the old, because that's critical to George. We need to do things differently. Well, watching the film last night, um, I was I was really surprised at how, even though it's a kind of three-dimensional kind of world, everything looked really uh, painted, and that was a really nice kind of difference between what we normally see in animation these days. So, was that something that you that was a decision among the, the artists in the beginning, and, and 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 how do you kind of continue on with that, you know, for making a film on this level? Yes, the painterly look was a very specific decision that was made early on. It was a style that we came up with. Our director, Dave Filoni, and the team of artists that we surrounded him with used a lot of the original artwork that was done on the early Star Wars movies and by, for example, Ralph McQuarrie, who is an, a painter. And then we took some of the character designs done by Gendy Tartakovsky's team early on in the, uh, the Clone Wars 2D series, or little vignettes of the Clone Wars. And we combined these to create our own look. And then taking it on to, there's really some really wonderful fighting sequences and things like mm -hmm. that. Um, <laughs> how are they to, to work on and then to finally see the final project? Was that kind of exciting to see on a big screen for you? Oh, it was really exciting to see how it all came together because we tried to shoot this in a real live action way so the cinematography felt exciting and adventurous like the movies. Um, but with the fight sequences, a lot of the guys on our team would act this stuff out and we also brought in early, early on some martial artists that did some inspirational work for Ahsoka and Anakin. So all of that combined think paid off on the big screen. There's really nice girl power in this. I don't know if that's a good term, but like having Ahsoka on as one of the leads and then having a villainess who is just as, you know, what's that like? To, was it fun to, to bring a, a, a heavier female, like, uh, you know, a presence in a film like this? I was thrilled when George decided that we should have a female Padawan. Um, quite frankly, I felt like we needed more female strong characters in the uh, the franchise and to have a character as feisty and strong and and fun as Ahsoka in there was great but then to have her counter opposite who is this tough really evil mean female villain such as Asajj Ventress was also very interesting and adds a whole new dimension in uh, the, uh, the girl power uh, side of things. Um, working, because at the credits, uh, it says that you guys worked a lot with the Singaporean office. So I'm just wondering, what was it like to, to, to work with a team that's relatively new and then giving them a project that's so large? You know, So was it, did you, was it fun to coordinate? And what did you learn from, from them? Or what did they learn from you? Well, the team overall was brand new, both here in Marin, in Singapore. And we also worked with a team in Taiwan. So we had multiple cultures languages, time zones to contend with. But I think that was great because we have so much talent all combining to come up with this new look and feel. And every single person involved puts a little piece of themselves into it. And because it's Star Wars, the team was 
extra, extra passionate about what it was we were producing. You can definitely tell on the screen. Thank you very much. Thanks. It was nice talking to you again. <laughs> nice talking to Thank you. you.